Hi everybody, my name is Mary McNett and currently I have work in Living Arts' front corner space window that you can see from the street and it is a compilation of a lot of work that I made in the past four years for my show called Medulla and they are uh, foam creatures. Um, they're almost alien-like. Uh, they were inspired by uh, brain matter and all of that. That's what my show was, was exploring was the human brain. So today I'm just going to show you how I make those kind of things. It's usually like I have like either a entire mannequin, just a head, or a torso, something like that. So for this, uh, I actually have a bunch of these uh, beauty school heads that somebody gave me. So I spray painted this, but you can go to Michael's and get styrofoam heads for this. I also have lights that are going to go on this. So um, I usually like to use like uh, color changing LED lights, but I couldn't find any in a pinch. I'm sure that you could find some on Amazon or something like that. Of course I have some spray foam. This uh, spray foam is white. Uh, you can use any kind that you want really. But this one it's easier to paint and the light shows up better through it. And then I'm going to have some tape to tape the lights on. And then different colors spray paint. What's great about this foam is that you can spray paint it and it doesn't disintegrate. So let's start. So like I said, um, I'm going to show a picture here of some of the heads that I've done that are currently on display at Living Arts. They have color changing LED lights. And also the paint jobs that I do on my little creatures react to different colors of light. So it looks like they are coming alive. You know, a red shows differently in a blue light or a green light or whatever. So it uh, is something that I actually saw first uh, J.P. Morrison Lands do in her show Wondrian that was at Living Arts. And I was very intrigued by that. So I decided to make some work of my own that kind of reacted under different colors of light. So for this, um, I'm mostly just going to just try to tape it to her head so I can spray foam over it. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to this, except for, of course, you want to make sure you leave the plug out. So you might want to tape that to the back, the bottom. All right, I taped the plug to the bottom of the back. Now I'm just going to mostly put it on top of her head. But you can do this however you like, of course. All right, so I mostly have her all taped up with the lights. And now I'm just going to start using the spray foam and I'm going to just um, let it inspire me as we go. And this stuff is extremely sticky. It will not come out of your clothes. So of course, wear gloves probably protective gear. I probably should be wearing like a trash sack over my hoodie, but I've been um, doing this a while. So hopefully I won't eat my words there. And hopefully I won't get it all over myself, but all right. So I'm just going to, first I'm just going to try to cover all the lights.
And again, this looks like uh, brain matter, almost, to me. That's what it looks like. So we had somebody join me out here. This is Zingo, everybody. He's our new puppy. He's a chihuahua. You met a little bit last time, and this is Zingo. So you should go inside, it's cold. Yeah. Okay, go follow your brother. So I actually had to go get some more because I didn't realize that there was not a lot in these cans. So now I'm gonna work on her face. I'm gonna try to make it kind of like a mask and maybe put some foam around the eyes and such. She looks kind of funny right now. <laughs> like she has a bunch of bubbles on her head. Let's see. So you see how I kind of made it look like a mask. So it's going to be a little creepy <laughs> looking creature. So I'm just going to go around. I'm going to fill in little spots that you see. And we'll wait for it to dry, and then we'll spray paint it. I'm also going to try to make her a little bit more asymmetric, just for my aesthetic taste. Uh, put a little bit more foam on one side and the other on top, I guess. So this is the part now where I'm going to line it up and you'll see how it looks. Hey y'all, I'm sorry it's kind of dark. I'm trying to do this before it snows tomorrow. It's uh, Saturday night. But I got a stick. I'm gonna put this uh, head on it just so I can spray paint it. And let's see what we can do. I'm going to first try to spray paint it a little dark so I can add highlights on it. And what I had done for my previous um, foam creatures is that I actually took some acrylic paint and I painted tiny little dots on it, like red or blue or whatever, and those tiny little dots showed up really cool under the color changing LED lights that I had mentioned earlier. So like I said, this foam does not disintegrate when you spray paint it. And you may get it on your already painted head, but you can go in with acrylic after if you want the head to show up more after. Yeah, I'm just gonna spray paint it dark here. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of this left, but so let's hope it can cover as much as possible. It's starting to run out, but that's okay. Uh-oh. Uh oh, we're out of that. Yeah. All right, so I got some black. What I was doing was a dark blue, but I ran out, but that's okay. Let's fill this out. Again, like my idea with these medulla creatures is that they do kind of look like brain matter. Um, it's kind of an idea of the brain showing outside of a creature rather than inside and whatever that can show the imagination outside all of that. Um, I'm going to cover this as much as I can, get in the nooks and crannies, color that. 
So once I've done the darker color on my head here, again, sorry about being a little dark. I'm gonna go in with another color. So I found that blue and red, of course, are very contrasting and show up very cool and extraterrestrial, sorry, extraterrestrial looking. So I'm gonna go in with this lighter blue and just kind of go from the bottom, get the bottom of the all of these um, nooks and crannies. Okay, just looking for any white. Kind of cover it. I'm gonna go in with the red. It'll contrast with the blue. Oh, I touched it to my hoodie. Hopefully I didn't get a bunch of paint on it. Uh, darn it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going with my red now. Again, going from the bottom so it'll kind of highlight a few spots. And you'll see when I'm done here, I'll show you a good view of how it looks when you highlight from the bottom. It looks kind of cool. Saturate it. Get some good colors in there. And sometimes I will go in with white first to do it, but actually this is pretty saturated. And the red showing up really well. I know you can't see it because it's dark and I apologize for that, but again, I'll show you inside when it's uh, lighter. So. so after spray painting and all of that, this is the final result. And she is all lit up. Hello, Zingo. Thank you so much for watching.